All right, folks, here we have is your standard constant height. Now what I have is the usual stand pipe in there with your bulkhead fitting. Uh, basically it looks like this, top and bottom. All right, so that'll sit on the bottom of your grow bed. Uh, the stand itself, I actually use Rob Bob's method. Uh, if you go to his channel, he has a couple of videos on how he does his stand pipes and he's got a really good idea in the bottom there securing it so you can pull on it and you can't get it out. Alright, so what all I've done basically to convert this from constant flow to a flood and drain system is down the bottom where the pipe comes out in the sump, I've added a T-piece on there. Alright, now this T-piece is pretty much acting like your bell siphon and all it does is allow the air to return back. So, to convert it, all I do instead of using my lid with a few holes drilled for air is I use your standard stopper, sit that over the top, right, and immediately it'll start to siphon. Now this bed here, it drains pretty quick. I've got a fair size pump on this one, so it doesn't take too long to get through the cycle. But as you can probably hear, it's siphoning away. Now what'll happen is, when it starts to get to empty, you'll get a few squirts out of the T-piece as the air returns up into the top of the bed and then breaks the siphon. We'll just wait here for a minute or two while it does its thing. Now this one here, I've made out of 25 mil. I've got a uh, 25 mil bulkhead fitting, and just use the two adapters as you saw earlier, down into 25 mil pipe. I've used about 300 mil before the T-piece, then your standard 25 mil T, and then down into my sump. I got a few yabbies floating around in there. Then on the other side, the secondary sump, we have another one there. I'm just running that one constant flow at the moment. And there's my pump in there. Now, this one here looks like it's starting to get to the end of it. As you can see, it's starting to spit a little bit of water now. You can hear the noise is starting to change a little bit. There goes one. Still draining. Now I think I've timed this one, it took about two minutes originally um, when I first did it the time sort of changes a little bit it's never quite the same and there we go so it's a way of siphoning without having to have a bell siphon so once again go over to the top I'll take the cap off all right if you have a look beds nice and empty cap back on it'll fill back up siphon already go thanks for watching